Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Ahabit tifillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said fi kitab al-kareem After a'udhu billah min shaytan al-rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Qad aflaha al-mu'minun Al-ladhinu hum fi salatihim khashi'un Wal-ladhinu hum an al-laghwi mu'aridun والذين هم لزكاتهم فاعلون والذين هم لفروجهم حافظون الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتاب الكريم in سورة المؤمنون the chapter of the believers after بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah the most beneficent the most merciful الله سبحانه وتعالى says قد أفلح المؤمنون successful indeed are the believers. الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ Those who offer their salat with solemnity, with solemnity and full submissive, fully submissive, fully humbled before Allah Azza wa Jalla. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنَ اللَّغْوِي مُعْرِدُونَ And those who turn away from Allah, evil, false, wicked speech. And we're going to talk about this a little bit more in detail. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِزَكَاتِهِمْ فَاعِدُونَ And those who pay the zakat, they pay the zakat, the wajib, alms, that is upon them. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِفُرُوجِهِمْ حَافِدُونَ And they protect their private parts from zina, from adultery, from meaning fornication and masturbation and all the things that uh, people do that is muharram uh, with the private parts. So, from the tafsir of the Salaf, Imam Baghawi said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, and Imam Baghawi, uh, his tafsir is, is well known for Athar of the Salaf, you know, bringing those, uh, those Athar, or those, if you want to say, Hadith, or traditions, or narrations of the Salaf. Uh, from the Sahaba, the Tabi'een, with Tabi'a Tabi'een in their tafsir of these ayat. So Imam Baghawi said regarding these first few ayat, and we'll just give the malachis, the very short thing, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Qad aflah al mu'minun, Imam uh, Baghawi mentions that al falah najat wal baqa, that falah here, that the when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, the believers uh, are successful that this successful means to be uh, that they have succeeded in something and that they remain so he mentions that the muhaqqaqin those scholars um, who uh, you know go intricate in depth into knowledge and explaining these ayat, the Mufassirin, he mentions that that this falah or this success has that some of the muhakkakin said this success has already happened for them, that they've already achieved this success, and that this is their status now. This is their current status. And Ibn Abbas radiallahu an said about this ayat. And what this is evidence for that that statement, he said, "Qad sa'ad al musaddiqun bitohid wa baku fil jannah." So Ibn Abbas said that the these ones uh, that were uh, these successful ones that were truthful, or perhaps this could refer to sadaqa that they were giving in righteous deeds or charity. Uh, oh, musaddaqun bi tawheed. So then they were, uh, they were truthful and sincere with tawheed. And he mentioned tawheed here. Ibn Abbas said, وَقَدْ سَعَدَ musaddaqun bi tawheed وَبَقُوا فِي jannah." That these ones who were sincere with tawheed, they, that they remain in Jannah. They, they, they remain in Jannah. What a great success. And then Imam Baghawi mentioned that the Salaf, they differed 
with the meaning here, الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ Those who, uh, with their prayer, uh, approach their prayer with humility. They have their prayer, uh, their prayer, and they are humble in, uh, humbled in their prayer. He said that the the Mufassirin and the Salaf they diff differed with the meaning of khushur here. That some of them, and he mentions Waqala Hassan Waqatada. He said Hassan, meaning uh, Al Hassan uh, Hassan Al, al Basri, I believe he's referring to Waqatada. That they said Khaifun. That they uh, that Khashiun uh, here it means fearful. That they are. Uh, that they are fearful in their salat. And then, وقال مقاتل المقاتل مقاتل he said متواضعون that they are متواضعين uh, that they are they are uh, they have humility. So, making a distinguish distinguishing between خايف to have fear and those who are humbled. وقال مجاهد and Mujahid said, "Huwa ghad al basar, wa ghad the salt." Mujahid said about this ayat. He said that these are the ones who uh, they lower their gaze, and they are uh, they they're they are they're they're when they speak they speak gently or they speak quietly. You know, they're not loud and abrasive in their speech. And then, I believe this is a statement of Imam Baghawi, or it could be the statement still of Mujahid. He said, Wal khushu qareeb min al khudu illa an al khudu fil bedan, wal khushu fil qalb, wal basar, wal salt. So this is a fayda from the Salaf. He said, distinguishing between this humility, this khushur, he said, well, khushur, qareeb min al khudur. He said, the term uh, khushur, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used in the, the ayat, khashi'un, that, that, that this term here, that the meaning is similar to the term khudur. The meanings are similar. But then he said, except they they distinguish, they're distinguished, meaning they both denote humility or a type of fearfulness. He said, but the difference is, al khudur is in the body. It has to do with a, a physical fear. Well, khushur fi qalb. And that khushur, this is a humility or a fear in the heart. And with the sight that you you you, you have this this fearfulness in your uh, with your sight and your sound. So the khudur this denotes the fear, the physical fear. Whereas the the uh, khushur has a, you know is something you as a type of ibadah in the heart, and with the eyes you know it, you know maybe lowering the gaze. Or the soap lower, you know, uh, not being abrasive in your sound. And one last benefit I want to mention with this. Uh, and then he said in the in the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ مُعْرِدُونَ And those who, and this is also the sif sifat of the mu'minin, these are all the character, these are all characteristics of the believers. So we want to have these characteristics. We want to be of the mu'minun, bi idnillah ta'ala. He says, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ لَغْوِ مُعْرِدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and those who, again these are sifat al mu'minin we want these sifat, we want these characteristics, and those whom uh, on lagh, on this, uh, this, uh, this foul speech, that they are, they, they avoid foul speech, that they, they turn away from the foul speech. So then Imam Baghawi says about this, he says, given us Athar of the Salaf again, قَالَ Ata عَنْ Ibn Abbas. So Ata, he said, he narrated on Ibn Abbas, رضي الله تلعن. He said, عَنَ الشِّرْكِ وَقَالَ حَسَنْ 
عن المعاصي وقال الزجاج عن كل باطل والله وما لا يجمل يجمل من القول والفعل so uh, Ibn Abbas mentioned about this that log he explained it uh, according to Ata, you know, one of his, uh, one of the tabi'in who was a, uh, took knowledge from Ibn Abbas, he said that this law, this false speech referred to shirk, showing us the falsehood of shirk, and showing us the gradations and the differences in tafsir. Al Hassan, he explained this law. This, this false speech as ma'asi, as sinful, you know, sinful speech, anything that denotes sinful speech. Zajaj explained this, this ayat, he said on, that it means everything which is false. This denotes what is, is uh, uh, law or this false speech. And he said, and that which is not beautiful from speech and actions. So this shows us that the Salaf, how they, uh, how they, sometimes they differed in their tafsir, but the meanings were very close and sometimes inclusive of one another. Sometimes they differed, but sometimes it was inclusive because it, often it may be from their ijtihadat, their understanding and, and their context or looking at other ayat and looking at a hadith and all the uh, uh, asula tafsir. And so they had different explanations. But la'allana nastafid min hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.